So, my name is Michael Jacobs. I am the advisor to the new climate economy project for the Commission on the Economy. Um, Greenhouse gas neutrality is an interesting term which has emerged in these, uh, uh, in these negotiations. Um, it seems to me to have a pretty clear meaning. When, some, when a budget is revenue neutral, it has the same amount of income coming in as going out. And greenhouse gas emissions neutrality is the same uh, amount of emissions coming out as being sequestered. So it effectively means net zero emissions. And this comes from the IPCC, which uh, in its fifth assessment report looked at probable two degree pathways, that is pathways of emissions over, in, over the next uh, uh, decades, which would stay within a reasonable probability, 66% chance of holding global warming to two degrees. And they show that uh, you have to get to net zero emissions of all greenhouse gases by sometime between 2080 and 2100. To do that, you have to get bring carbon down to net zero a bit earlier than that, but all greenhouse gases, it's that kind of time scale. And that is uh, essentially what the concept uh, means. And by putting it in this agreement, that the, uh, if it stays in, this would be a very significant signal that we have to do this according to the science. And the science says that by the end of the century, we have to reduce net emissions down to zero. And it would be very, uh, it would be a very profound statement if the international community accepted that the science was telling us that's where we have to be.